most of us are coming to know, one of the uh, primary uh, mountains to climb in photography is editing. And one of the pictures I remember of Eugene Smith when he would take over a loft, he would buy these four by eight foot pieces of homosote board and mount them on two, on two by fours. And also his entire loft was rows and rows of these two by fours, and from which he would make or have made for him five by seven proof prints. Now the quality of his proof prints surpassed of most living photographers in their finished prints. <laughs> But nevertheless, they were improvements, and he would have them up, and, and he would be walking by them and looking at them, adjusting them, to get a sense of the juxtaposition of the images and the, and the effect that one picture has on the other, which is a very important part and a concern, certainly when you're doing a project for three pages or for a book, what have you, the juxtaposition, the way one image affects another one. He would even have lines in between all of these boards, he would have uh, chord lines with uh, clothespins on it, spring clothespins, which he would hang prints as well. And so there, there was sort of a mobile way of changing the juxtaposition of images to others. Because as you're working, no matter what your preconception will be on a final project, when you begin working with it and suddenly you see two next to another, it gives you an idea, hey, that's a good idea, maybe I should go this way. And so the direction is continuously changing. 